Hey, Kenya, how are you doing today? What do you want from me now, Lucian? I want you to fill out the divorce papers I gave you earlier properly, without any mistakes or omissions, and submit them to the government office as soon as possible, okay? It's very important that we finalize this divorce quickly and smoothly. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You don't have to remind me every time. Even if you don't tell me, I should be able to get it out by the end of the week. But do you need me to let you know after I submit them? Do you want me to send you a confirmation email or something? What? Don't tell me by the end of the week or something like that. That's too slow. Just get it out as fast as you can. Also, is it because you still want to stay in touch with me? Is that why you're asking me that? Susie doesn't want me to contact other women, especially you. As for me, I don't want her to get suspicious of me or doubt my love for her. So I don't want to contact you anymore. Ever. Don't try and get in the way of our relationship just because you still have lingering feelings for me. Okay? Huh? What are you talking about? You can say whatever you want. But I don't care about you anymore. I'm over you. I'm just asking if you need me to let you know because it's important for the legal process. So you don't need me to tell you anymore. Is that correct? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. You got it. On the contrary, don't communicate with me anymore. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Don't message me. Nothing. Just leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Fine by me. Then that would save me a lot of trouble and headache. And I don't want to talk to you either. You're just being a wuss. You're too afraid to face the reality that I don't love you anymore. Please don't stalk me or anything. Don't show up at my place or my work. Don't follow me or spy on me. Just stay away from me. <laughs> Why would I do such a thing? That's ridiculous. I have no regrets about our divorce. I'm just happy to finally be free from you and your lies. I don't want anything to do with you. Oh really? Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm very happy to. I'm going on a trip to a hot spring with Susie to celebrate the divorce. We're going to have a wonderful time together. I already belong to Susie, body and soul. <laughs> She's the only one for me. And there's not an inch of space for you here. So don't you think about getting back together with me ever. It's not going to happen. Like I said, what the heck are you talking about? You're delusional. I'm not even thinking about getting back together with you. Why would I want that? I'm really glad we're divorced. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. I've known you for a long time. You're so stubborn and prideful. You never admit your mistakes or apologize. You should be aware of that part of you. Otherwise, you'll be alone for the rest of your life. You know, no one will want to be with you. Huh? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just when someone lends you an ear, you go ahead and say whatever the heck you want. You're so rude and arrogant. You don't know anything about me or my life. Enough is enough. This is goodbye. Don't you ever contact me again too. I don't want to hear from you. I'm going to be with my beloved Susie from now on. She's the love of my life. So there is no way I'm contacting you. I don't need you. See you later. Good luck with your miserable life. <laughs> Kenya? If you see this message, please reply as soon as possible. I need to talk to you urgently. Diana, long time no see. Is something wrong? You sound very worried. Ugh, Kenya. I finally got a hold of you. I'm so relieved. Where on earth are you? I visited at your house several times, but it seems like you've been gone for a long time. There was no sign of you. Huh? What do you mean, where am I? I've always been going back and forth between work and home, so I'm still in my house. Why are you looking for me? What are you talking about? 
Are you sure you're in your house? I stopped by several times, but you weren't there at all. There was no one answering the door or the phone. Hmm. You don't know my current home address, do you? I moved to a new place a few months ago. I thought I told you. Huh? No, you didn't tell me. When did you move? And why didn't you tell me? Anyway, I'm in a lot of trouble over here right now. I think my mother has contacted you, so I'm sure you know about it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what's going on with your mother because I've blocked her and refused to receive her calls. She's been harassing me for a long time, and I couldn't take it anymore. What? What do you mean? Why did you block her? Anyway, my brother had an accident and is in the hospital. He's in very bad shape. Please come to Madison Hospital immediately. I need your help. What? Lucian got caught in an accident? How did that happen? He was driving his car and he crashed into a truck. He was rushed to the hospital and is now in critical condition. He's in a coma right now. We need to discuss this together because we have to talk about what's going to happen in the future. He might not make it. Anyway, please come here as soon as possible. I'm begging you. Well, just calm down. Don't panic. I can't calm down. How can I calm down when my brother is dying? But listen to me. It's important. There's something you need to know. What is it? What do you have to tell me? Perhaps you haven't heard about it yet, Diana. But Lucian and I are divorced. We're not married anymore. What? No way. That can't be true. When did that happen? It's true. I just filed out the papers two days ago. It's official. We're no longer husband and wife. I didn't know about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for bothering you. What? What's wrong? Why are you apologizing? I didn't know. And here I am asking you to come over right away, as if nothing had changed. I'm so insensitive. No, it's okay. You didn't know. You've been through a lot too, haven't you? Yes. I got a call that my brother was in the emergency room and my mom freaked out. She was crying and screaming. I didn't know what to do, really. I was so scared and confused. If you are divorced, then it would make sense why you weren't at my brother's house. Or why you weren't with him when he was rushed to the hospital, right? That's right. I don't think I can help you anymore. I'm sorry. I have nothing to do with him anymore. No worries. It's my fault. I should have known. So you don't have to apologize. This might sound awkward, but did you divorce my brother because he cheated on you? Is that why you left him? What? How did you know about that? Did he tell you? I see. Actually, there was a woman who was in the car with him when he got caught in the accident. And it looks like they were rushed to the hospital together. She's in the same ward as him. So that's what happened, huh? He was with her when he crashed? It seems they were on their way back together by car from a hot spring resort. They were having a romantic getaway. The woman was named Susie, I think? She's his girlfriend. Well, there's no point in hiding it anymore. That's right. I heard that the two of them were going to the hot springs together. He told me himself. Huh? Did you just let them do that? Did you agree to that? There was no need to. It was after I had already decided to divorce Lucian. So I just let him do whatever it was he wanted. I didn't care anymore. Besides, I had already noticed Lucian's affair before. He was acting strange and distant. He was always on his phone or out late. When I asked him about it, that's when he put it all out in the open. He told me he didn't love me anymore. And he loves Susie. He wanted to be with her. Oh, no. 
My brother is so terrible. I can't believe he did that to you. I'm sorry for what he's done to you. You must be so hurt and angry. It's not something you should be apologizing for, Diana. It's not your fault, it's his. I'm divorced anyways, and I feel better about it. I'm glad I'm free from him and his lies. I see. If that's the case, I'll keep the details of the accident to myself then. I won't tell anyone else. He's in critical condition, but it doesn't look life-threatening. He might wake up soon. That's all I'm going to tell you. My mother also seemed to have contacted you several times. But, since she is blocked, I will let her know that you are divorced. I'm sure she'll be shocked and angry, but I don't care. She can't bother you anymore. <laughs> Thank you, but I think my ex-mother-in-law knows we got divorced. My mother has always been that way. If she didn't have anyone to rely on, she would keep trying to find someone. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I agree. But are you okay with it, Diana? Me? I've been wondering about you for a long time now. Like, about my mother-in-law and Lucian's attitude towards you. They forced you to do all the housework and everything, didn't they? Oh, you noticed that, didn't you? I'm my late father's daughter from his first marriage. So my mother and I aren't real family. I thought it couldn't be helped. I was really grateful for you whenever you came over. Because you always helped me. Don't think that it couldn't be helped. I don't know what's going on over there. But isn't my ex-mother-in-law going to force you to take care of Lucian and everything else this time too? Yeah, well... I'm an outsider now, so I can't lend a hand. But I don't think you should have to carry all that burden alone. Take better care of yourself. I'm always available for advice. So if there's anything you want to talk about, you can call me anytime. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. Kenya, when are you coming back? I've been waiting for you for a long time. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Why are you calling me now? Huh? You know my situation, right? You know what happened to me, right? Then you should come back soon. You should be by my side. I don't think I should know everything about what's happening to you, right? I only heard you had an accident and you were in the hospital. That's all. I don't know anything else. Huh? Didn't you hear from mom? She tried to contact you several times. But you didn't answer. I see. Well, I guess it can't be helped then. You don't care about me at all. I can't move my legs. So I'm in a wheelchair right now. I'm going through a lot, you know. It's very hard and painful for me. That's why you got to get your butt back here, okay? So when can I go home? When can I see you again? No, sorry. I'm a little confused about what you're talking about. Why do I have to go back to you? Why do you want to see me? Why? I'm a wheelchair bound right now, remember? I can't walk or do anything by myself. Isn't it my wife's job to support me? To take care of me? To love me? If you come home soon, I'll let bygones be bygones. I'll forgive you for everything. So come home soon. Please. Huh? There's nothing that needs to be put to rest. There's nothing that needs to be forgiven. What are you talking about? Huh? You know what? I was hospitalized. And you didn't even show up at the hospital once. You didn't even visit me or call me. Do you know how hard it was for mom and Diana? They were worried sick about me. I was on the verge of life and death, and now I'm finally out of the hospital. Yet, you don't even seem to be coming back. You don't even care about me. I'm telling you, I'm going to let bygones be bygones. I'm going to be generous and kind to you. No, I'm sure you didn't have a life-threatening condition, right? You're exaggerating. 
Besides, it was only Diana who had a hard time anyway. She was the one who took care of you and helped you. Then again, we're already divorced. I'm not your wife anymore. We're not married anymore. Huh? What did you say? The divorce papers have been filed. Why are you surprised? You're the one who told me to get out of it immediately. You're the one who wanted to end our marriage. I filled them out and filed them the same day you told me to. It's over. How self-indulgent of you. I didn't know that you followed it. I didn't know that you actually did it. I asked if you needed me to contact you once I had properly submitted it. I asked if you wanted me to let you know, right? I thought you said you didn't want me to do that. You told me not to contact you because Susie wouldn't like it. So I didn't let you know after I submitted it as you wanted me to. I respected your wishes. Huh? Well, you just said those things because you were still hung up on me, right? That can't be true. You're too full of yourself. I just asked out of the kindness of my heart because I thought it would be good for you to know. Given the procedures at work and all, I thought you might need some documents or something. I didn't think you would think that way. I don't care anymore. Just come back to me. You're not getting any younger. And it would be lonely to grow old alone, wouldn't it? Don't you want to be with me? What are you talking about? And what about Susie? Why don't you let Susie take care of you? Poor Susie. She can't walk anymore after that accident. She's living with me in my parents' house, which has been remodeled to be more accessible. She's in no condition to do housework or anything. She can't even cook or clean for me. Huh? Are you crazy to ask your ex-wife to come back when you have a new girlfriend? And you also told me not to contact you because she wouldn't like it. Did you think she's going to like it if I came over? With the mess of the accident? I couldn't even register the marriage. I'm not in a situation to be talking like that now. So I'm sure that even Susie will understand. She loves me so much. She'll do anything for me. That's right. Your place as my wife is still available. My heart belongs to Susie. But I'll make you my wife again on paper. You won't be lonely. We'll all be saved. So it's a win-win situation, right? It's give and take. What? You're talking like you've got a great idea. What place are you talking about, big guy? I can only see you take in that situation. You're taking advantage of everyone. Don't you feel sorry for us? Both of us are in wheelchairs in a house. And it's really hard, you know. Don't you know how hard it is for me not to be able to walk by myself like before? Mom has back pain too, so I can't force her to do it. She's old and weak, and she needs rest. If anything, Mom is the one who should be cared for. But right now, all of us need care. Hmm. That said, don't expect your ex-wife whom you divorced a few months ago, to conveniently help you out. Even though we're divorced, we've been together for years. We have a long history and a deep bond. We can't just throw that away. We were together for many years, but for the most part, you cheated on me and kept betraying me, didn't you? You broke my heart and my trust. You ruined our marriage. That's what I had to do because I met the one that I was meant to be with, which is Susie, right? She's my soulmate. She's the love of my life. But now, I'm telling you that we're going to get back together again. What are you complaining about now? What's the problem? What am I complaining about, you say? Are you kidding me? How can you ask me to get back together with you after what you've done to me? Come on. Don't say that. Don't be so harsh. Hey, you swore at our wedding in sickness and in health, didn't you? You made a promise to me. Are you going to break that? You're saying that now. You're the one who violated that vow first. That's why I'm telling you I'm sorry. 
I made a mistake and I regret it. Hey, let's all just get along and live together. I'm in real trouble, you know. That's also why I'm telling you I refuse. I don't want to help you. You're in trouble because of that, right? You're in trouble because Diana, who has taken care of you up to now, because it was convenient for you, just left, right? She had enough of you and your lies. Huh? How do you know that? How did you find out? Diana told me. She called me and told me everything. She told me how you treated her and how you used her. That's right. That little girl left us alone and suddenly disappeared. She ran away from us. Where is Diana right now? Do you know where she is? What am I supposed to do? Ask her where she is? Why do you care? Well, of course you're going to bring her back, right? Your sister's in laws. And if our family is in trouble, it's only natural that we help each other out. It's only natural that we stick together. How can you even think so much to suit your own convenience? Even I've noticed that you guys have been hard on Diana. You've been cruel and unfair to her. That's not true. I mean, she's a girl. So my mom had to make her help us with housework and stuff. Help? By making Diana do all the work? I heard that you took all of Diana's wages from her part-time job when she was a student. And then her salary after she got a full-time job too? I also heard you tell her many times, you have to pay us for staying here. You have to pay us for your food and your room. Well, I mean you have to pay us for everything. No, that's not true. That's not how it was. She talked to me about it because she wanted to leave the house. But you kept taking her salary so she didn't have any savings. She didn't have any money to move out. That's when I heard about this thing from Diana. Diana was your father's daughter from his first marriage and you were your mother's, right? She said that since your father passed away five years ago, your guy's attitude towards Diana, who is not related to you by blood, has changed. You've become more hostile and abusive to her. That can't be helped, right? We're letting someone who wasn't related to us by blood stay at our house. It's only normal for her to be doing the housework and bringing money in, isn't it? It's only fair. What are you talking about? That's not fair. That's exploitation. I heard that your father's insurance money went to pay for your tuition while Diana had to give up going to college and work as a high school graduate instead. No, that's not true. That's not how it was. That's what Diana wanted. You always think in your own favor. You always twist the truth. But I heard that Diana realized it recently. What? What did she realize? The termination of relationship by affinity. The termination of relationship by affinity? What the hell does that mean? It means that the relationship with the deceased spouse's relatives is dissolved. In other words, when one of the spouses dies, the relationship that is created through the marriage ends. And so the surviving spouse will also be disassociated from the relatives. They will no longer be family. No way. That can't be true. It is true. It looks like your mother had known about it beforehand and took advantage of it. She knew that she could treat Diana however she wanted. Well, that's... It also seems that your mother had never legally adopted Diana, even after your father passed away. So you're both actually not related to her at all. So that means Diana has no obligation or need to take care of you guys in any way. She doesn't owe you anything. Not only did you make Diana take care of you, but you even brought your affair partner home and made her take care of Susie too, didn't you? You made her do everything for you. I'm grateful to Diana for going that far, but don't even think about bringing her back and making her work for you again. She's free from you and your family. Oh, no. We lived together for years. 
She may not legally be my sister anymore, but we still have a family bond. You said something similar to me earlier, but there's no one who ruined that relationship but you. You really only think in terms of what's convenient for you, don't you? But we're in real trouble, you know. I can't even work because of my condition. That's right. I'll give up asking Diana to come back. She sends money home, and you can come over to our house to help out a little. It'll be less of a burden, right? Hey, could you ask Diana in that way? Ugh. I'm so tired of this. There's no way that's okay. Why are you assuming I'm going to help out too? I absolutely refuse. Even if you tell me that we're at a loss to Susie's parents have disowned her and she has no one to turn to. She was disowned because she was having an affair with a married man. And she deserved it, didn't she? For God's sake, please come back. Absolutely not. If you're in so much trouble, why don't you just ask for a help or something? Yes, but I can't afford that right now. Can I have the alimony I paid you back for now? If you can't come back, can you at least help me with that? Huh? I've only received 10% of the alimony, right? You said you were in an accident, so I was waiting for you to pay the rest of the installments. And now, you want me to pay you back? And on top of that, you're asking me for help? I don't have a choice. Susie and I both had to quit our old companies because of our condition. We used the insurance money from the accident to make my parents' house more accessible for us. I have no income. I can't move and I'm at a total loss. You're the only one I can rely on. I am no longer someone you can rely on. I'm an outsider. That's not true, is it? <laughs> that is true. If it had been while I still had love and trust in you, I would have stayed by your side to support you, whether you were disabled or bedridden. So then? So, I'm talking about when there was love and trust between us. Now, it's all gone to pieces. You destroyed it. Don't, don't you think it's too convenient to ask for help now? But you know we married out of love. We were such good friends when we got married. Huh? I just keep going in circles when I talk to you. We're not getting anywhere. You told me not to contact you, didn't you? Can you just let it go? No. Wait a minute. At least tell me where Diana is. You're still in touch with her, right? That girl? I think she blocked our numbers, so I can't get in touch with her. No. Oh. Diana said that if there's anything left behind, please throw them away. No, I really need to check with her to make sure it's okay to throw them away or not. So give me her contact info. I don't want to. Why not? Diana's living on her own now and she's doing her best. She's finally free from you guys. Even I will never forget the feeling of freedom that I had when I was freed from you. I want Diana to live for herself and not be bothered by you guys anymore. So I won't let you get in the way. Who the heck is going to tell you where she is? Then who's going to help us? I don't care. See you later. I blocked Lucian's number because I had nothing more to say to him. I've already moved to a new place and I'm at peace with the fact that Lucian will not contact me anymore. I am still in contact with Diana. She has left Lucian and his mom, and is now living a carefree life and enjoying small luxuries from time to time. She says that she gets information about Lucian's recent activities from friends in her hometown. Lucian and Susie, who have registered their marriage, are living with Lucian's mother at his parents' house. However, Lucian's mother and Susie are at odds with each other and yell at each other, which has become infamous in the neighborhood. After a while, Lucian and Susie got a job at the same company with a disability exemption and started working there. They both seem to be complaining that it wasn't a job they really wanted to do, but since they can't change jobs, they continue to do their work, although reluctantly. 
Eventually, a rumor spread that the reason they became wheelchair bound was because they had an accident on their way back from their adulterous trip, and they are now feeling a bit ashamed of their situation.